Welcome to pre-math. Today our topic is how to find the discriminant of any given quadratic equation. We will work on these given examples as well. I want you to watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems with complete solutions. So the very first question is what is discriminant? So as we know that this is our quadratic formula, isn't it? So this part inside this radical symbol, this part is, as a matter of fact, you can see is called our discriminant. From this point on, our discriminant is going to be b squared minus 4 times ac. And one more thing, the discriminant tells you how many solutions we have and what type of solutions we got. So in the next few examples, I will explain it to you what it means when discriminant is positive, when it is zero, and when it is negative. So let's work on this very first example. We are asked to find the discriminant of the quadratic equation and then state the number of solutions. So the very first thing what I want you to do is I want you to look at the coefficients of this quadratic equation. Here this is your a equal to 6. Here we have a negative sign. So that means the coefficient is going to be negative 1. So b is going to be negative 1. Here this is negative 1 is the coefficient of x and the coefficient this one this number is c equals to negative 15. So we know that the discriminant is b square minus 4ac so let's go ahead and calculate our discriminant which is b square minus 4 AC. Let's plug it in these values right now. So what we're going to get is B square is negative 1 square. You just fill in the blanks minus 4 times A is 6 and then C is negative 15. Let's simplify this. So this negative 1 square is 1 and when you multiply these one out that's going to give you 360 with a positive sign so we got simply 361 so the discriminant value turns out to be 361 and as we can see that this discriminant is a positive value isn't it so this positive means that we're going to look at this thing over here if the discriminant is positive value then the number of solutions we're going to get is going to be what two real solutions so thus our answer is going to be two real solutions so this is our answer So let's get started with the next example over here. Start working on this thing. Once again, we need to find the discriminant of this given quadratic equation. So the very first step is I want you to identify their coefficients. So the coefficient over here, the coefficient for x squared is missing. By default, it is 1. So that means a equals to 1. This is the coefficient of x squared. And this is b equals to positive 4 and c equals to 9. So we know that our discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So let's find out the discriminant value. So discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So let's start working on this thing. Let's plug, plug it in the value. b is 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 9 so that is going to give you 16 minus 36 so our value is going to be negative 20 for the discriminant 
so the discriminant value is of course negative so that means you look at the negative part over here when the discriminant is negative so that means we have no real solutions so thus our answer is no real solutions so if this there's no real solution that means our solution is going to be imaginary or complex so there's going to be a two imaginary are simply complex solutions. We call it imaginary solutions because that involves the I value. I stands for imaginary numbers. Now let's look at our next example. We want to find the discriminant for this quadratic equation as well. The very first thing once again is the very first step is identify the coefficients. A equals to negative 4 b is positive 12 and c is negative 9. Now let's calculate the discriminant value. Okay, so discriminant, we're going to take care of that one. Discriminant, as you know that it is b square minus 4ac. So let's fill in the blanks right now. b equals to 12 then square minus 4 times a is negative 4 times c is negative 9. Let's simplify this thing. So that becomes 144 minus when you multiply these one out, you're going to get 144 as well. So that is going to give you zero value. So as the discriminant value is zero, let's check it. This one over here, right here, that tells you that whenever the discriminant is zero, we're going to have one real solution only. So thus, our answer is only one real solution. Once again, Welcome to pre-math. So these are our practice problem worksheet. I want you to start working on these one. So once again, I want you to make sure that you pause this video. Work on these practice problems on your own pace. And the solution to these problems are next. So I want you to take your time, no rush. Take your time. So this is solution to our practice problem number one. You can see how I did it. Everything is there. So this is solution to practice problem number two. Once again, I want you to take your time. You can pause the video and see how this was done. And here is the solution to practice problem number three. Once again, take your time and see how I did step by step. And here is solution to our practice problem number four. And finally, this is solution to our practice problem number five. I want you to again take your time and see how this was done step by step. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.